Um, I can't say enough about how important advocacy groups are. They, when I make a diagnosis, whether it's Neiman Pick or Crabbe or another rare disease, often one of the first questions that families ask me is, who do I talk to? And they don't mean a medical professional. They want to talk to another family that's been in the same situation. They want to talk to another family that has navigated social services, that has figured out how to get their child the appropriate education and what therapies might be best and where to get the equipment that they need at home. So advocacy groups are key. I usually will refer patients to whatever advocacy group is irrelevant to their disease. But the other thing that advocacy groups do that's really, really important is to often, they'll just post on their website or they'll post at a meeting that there are trials. Um, families often feel more comfortable calling one of the advocacy groups because it's often not a medical professional, it's another family that's been going through the same thing. And they'll say, hey, what do I do? Is there anything out there? And often the advocacy groups will direct them to a person to talk to about participating in a trial.